guys, so it's been a while since I've done any kind of vlog or anything. Um, I've actually just been, I've been really busy doing nothing. Um, and so I haven't really shot anything since before Christmas. But, uh, like for some, but today I'm going to be, uh, it's pretty much like major house cleaning day. So, like just, everything's, it's not really a mess, but it's just, it's, uh, like there's stuff everywhere. Like, uh, like this. They like all these cigarette packs, I've been there forever. Uh, like I had to go to Best Buy yesterday, I had to go get a new mouse. Uh, that's one of my old ones. I didn't have a warranty on it, so there's nothing I could do. Um, and then my pipes, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but my laundry room is out in my garage. So like here, here in my garage. And it's currently like, I think it's 12 degrees. And so these pipes right here keep freezing up. I have them all wrapped up and everything, but it doesn't seem to help. So uh, I actually went out and I ordered uh, like a heat wrap pipe thing. Uh, it's, a, it's an electrical cord you actually wrap around your pipes. So, and you plug it in and it's temperature, it uh, calculates by temperature. But I finally got my hot tub fixed, kind of. I'll just go out there. It's so cold though. But I don't know if you guys knew, but my hot tub wasn't working, and so I started filling it up. Look at that solid ice. Uh, but my pump was out, so I went out and I bought a brand new pump. So it's ready to go. I'm just waiting on everything to uh, thaw out so I can plug it all in, and I got the cord here still. I had to plug that in, but uh, plug that in and wait for some stuff to thaw. I gotta, I'll probably just hammer this out and pull it out and start filling it up once once my pipes are like everything's frozen. Ugh, I can't even bend it. So I got quite a little bit of a busy day. I gotta wrap all these pipes. Um, probably hammer that out. Uh, just do like a little bit of quick cleaning. Like it's not, it's not a major mess. It's just like there's just stuff from not doing anything. Like you can see here, there's still like a little bit of gifts everywhere. But pretty much it for now. Just got back from getting some lunch. I went down to, uh, I've been craving some barbecue lately. So I went to uh, go get some barbecue here. But like look at this. They, for like 35 bucks you get a whole rack of ribs. I um, think it's a pound of ham, half pound of sausage, and then a uh, half pound of roast beef. They were supposed to get two types of bread, but I guess they were out, so they only gave me, they gave me a bag of white bread. But you're supposed to get, I think, five slices of white and five slices of wheat. Got some fries here. Some, uh, some cheesy corn. Get this open. Got some cheesy corn, a couple things of... Couple things of uh, baked beans, so and I think that's pretty much it. She also get jalapenos too, but but they never gave them to me. So it's whatever, but it's still really good food. But I got uh, got half of the house cleaned up. It's looking better. It's looking kind of clean. Um, I don't know about I don't know if you guys know this or not, but this. This can of Pringles here has been here forever. A friend of mine um, came over to clean my house one day, and <laughs> there was like two chips left in that bag or in that Pringles can. And uh, so I was like, "Oh no, leave that there! Like, it's there's still some Pringles in it." So she left it there, and I, not him today. She's like, "You done with that yet?" And I'm like, "No, I'm just gonna leave it here. It's a joke." It's like, "All right, whatever." So that one Pringles can has been sitting there empty for. At least six months, just as just because like there's nothing in it. There's like there's a crumb, but yeah, it's been there been there for a while. So I'm gonna get some lunch, and once I get done eating, I'm guess I'll uh, I'm either gonna go work on the uh, what do we call them? Uh, either work on the pipes, or I'm going to work on the hot tub. One of the two. Time actually, time actually got really far away from me today. It's like. 
4-ish in the morning. 4.30 in the morning. And I'm just getting back from the store. Got a bunch of crap that I needed. Um, actually down in my office, they had, uh, I'm always complaining that I'm about to have to go cook a pizza or something uh, when I'm playing a game. So I just bought a toaster oven, because why not? And so, so now, whenever I need to, or whenever I want to eat or whatever, I just get, I just turn around from my desk and I make a pizza. I got I already have a mini fridge. I had it for had this mini fridge for years, and it's just been sitting down in my basement, unused. So I'm gonna hook that up in my office downstairs, uh, and then this toaster oven, and I'm pretty much set to go. I'll never have to. Uh, I'll never have to go upstairs again. I love that. All right, so here's here's one thing that actually it really annoys me. They when you go to the grocery store, they they don't even ask you if they want to put your milk in a bag or anything. But they put your milks in bags. But you, everybody knows these flimsy bags are not going to hold this. Hold these heavy milks. These milks are like ten pounds. And this one flim, they put it in a single flimsy bag, and it like. There's no way that's gonna be holding. All right, well, I just got everything put away for the most part. I still have my lunch out from earlier. It's whenever I uh, had all that barbecue. But uh, yeah, everything's put away. I think I'm going to uh, meet a, I bought a big ass salad. I usually buy like the personal salads. I usually buy the personal salads, but uh, they all expired because for some reason their produce cannot keep up with their produce. So, I ended up buying a big one, so I think I'm going to uh, go downstairs, edit this video, edit a few other videos, and uh, that'll be it. Oh, tomorrow, um, I'm definitely either going to be working on the pipes or the hot tub. Uh, it's going to be warmer the next couple days, so I figured I would uh, figure I'd wait until it kind of thaws out a little bit more, and uh, yeah, just go from there, I guess. Um, I showed you it earlier, and it's just, there's big chunks of uh, big chunks of ice. So I'm gonna try to knock all that out here in the next couple of days. So we'll see in the 40s and 50s the next few days. So, but try to knock that out. I'm gonna go downstairs, get these videos done, and I will see you tomorrow. Yeah.